<laughs> Don't worry, babe. With all of the money that I'm saving with my move from Ontario to Alberta, I will have a sauna and a hot tub and a house down south. That is only a two hour, $200 plane ride away. Like, I don't know if you realize this, but it's Canada, like two thirds of it is cold. And I find it really crazy that like the people that care most about the cold winters in Alberta are people that don't live there. Was that a consideration for us? Sure. We explored almost every province in Canada as an option before we decided to go to Alberta. We looked at moving somewhere else in Ontario, except it's all really expensive. And the cost of living is still high. Same with BC. We looked out east and some of the places had taxes that were like insane. We saw a house in New Brunswick that was $800,000 and the property taxes were $20,000 a year. That never goes away, it just keeps going up. So even once you're mortgage free, you are still paying like an astronomical amount of money. And Nova Scotia was top of our list for a while, but like it's not even inexpensive there anymore. And it is really, really small. For us, we wanted something with like bigger city amenities with the ability to still have like that small town vibe, which is exactly what we got in Alberta. In Alberta, the property taxes are lower, the housing costs are lower. There are no land transfer taxes when you're buying a home in Alberta, so already I've saved like literally $70,000 from what I would have paid if this home was in Toronto. You can still cash flow when you buy rental properties. The people there, like everyone has been so nice. Literally, we hooked up our water and the lady on the phone was like, welcome, we're so excited to have you. Like, um, that would never happen in Ontario. Car insurance, daycare, like that's all like drastically less expensive. So now I actually get to spend my money on things that matter to me. Like I'm gonna have a housekeeper. I'm gonna be spending less money to have this housekeeper and this gorgeous home on acreage than it was to live in my townhouse in Ontario. I can afford a vacation home with the same amount of money. Kids will actually be able to afford a house in Alberta, not like Ontario. So yeah, does it get cold in the winter? Sure. But now I get to spend the winter in my gorgeous new home with better mental health, more time and more money to spend on things that I actually love. And like what people don't realize is that Calgary is actually the sunniest place in Canada. It has 333 days of sun and Edmonton has 325 days of sun. Edmonton also doesn't really get that much snow, like 85% of the time it's less than five centimeters. And I have been told because it's a dry cold, it feels so much different. So like, you know, negative two in Vancouver feels like negative 10 in Edmonton because of the difference. And like one final story I'll tell you is that I had a friend who probably about 10 years ago moved away from Ontario to the Yukon. And at the time we were all like, oh my God, why would you go to the Yukon? Yukon, it's like so far, it's so cold. He didn't know anybody up there, but he still went. And I will tell you this, he never came back. He loved it so much that he stayed, even though all of his family and all of his friends were down here. He went up there, he made new friends, he made a new life for himself and he fucking loves it. But guess what? If we don't like it, nothing in life is fucking permanent. We are literally just a soul in a meat suit with a bag of bones on a fucking flying rock. Nothing means anything. Go out there and find your happiness. For us, the pros 100% outweigh the cons for moving. Do what's best for you.